a new journey begins. What's up guys? Cast one here. Bring you a Battlefield 3 on PC this time. And this is it guys. This is what I said on my other video that uh, I would show you guys uh, Battlefield 3 on PC, me playing it on PC. And uh this is like my journey. I just got. I just want to talk to you guys uh, about uh, if you guys are thinking about doing the same thing I did from transitioning from consoles to uh, PC. So I just want to take this moment to talk to you guys about that. Uh, yeah, as you know, like um, I for the past month, month and a half, uh, I decided to. Get Battlefield, um, play Battlefield 3 on PC. I always wanted to learn how to play on PC, you know, just when I was hearing stuff about Battlefield 3, how it's going to be more players and the graphics are better. So I said, you know what, let me try to, to get it. That's a nice shot. I'm proud of that, you know, it took me a while. Um, okay, now just want to tell to those people who might be thinking about going from console to PC you're going to struggle <laughs> you know really really bad you know I, I don't know maybe you're great and you'll get it in a, in I don't know a day or a week or so but for me it took me uh, a while because obviously I'm not um, comfortable with the keyboard and mouse so that that's the the biggest hurdle uh, I think that console gamers will have to get used to it is the keyboard and mouse. It's not really the mouse, it's more the keyboard. Because, you know, it's just movement on it doesn't feel natural. Uh, that, that's the a problem I had with it. Um, uh, when I first started, you know, I was using the keyboard and mouse and now I was really struggling. I was getting games I was going uh, what, five and twenty-three things um, like that, you know. So um, I wasn't having uh, a fun time playing that. You, you, even though you know, I like the game Battlefield, but I was just like, wow, you know, there's really nothing I can do about it. So uh, I saw another YouTuber um, goes by. Uh, the name the real hard eight times and he was making the transition from console to PC and he was uh, uh, saying how he was using uh, the controller like he had to get used to it because uh, I tried the controller but like you know there's no um, uh, aim assist as you know that will uh, help you uh, lock on to your target you know and so and, even if you um, are using a controller, you're still a little bit at a disadvantage because the mouse is so incredibly precise. You know, aiming is very easy on the PC. I, at least I find that to be much easier on the con uh, on the PC than the consoles. Uh, so, but he mentioned in passing uh, a device uh, called Splitfish. And he, he just mentioned in passing how he was not sure if he was going to use that when he heard some not so great things about it so I, I got curious and I looked that up and it's uh, it's like a half of a controller you know that will control the your, your you can make it control you walking uh, forward back you know um, your boss you know W A S D you know you can walk forward back left and right and so I uh, looked that up and I saw I saw it and I said, you know what, uh, because I, I tried other devices, I had like a Logic Check uh, G13, I tried that, you know, it was like a hybrid gamepad, you know, but one thing out of my uh, wrists were uh, hurting, you know, using the keyboard, I don't know, I, I hear a lot of people had carpal tunnel with that, and I didn't want to get that, so, but I, I, I did notice that after maybe an hour or two when I was gaming with it, my, uh, my wrists sometimes... It felt a little uncomfortable, so I was like, okay, um, let me try this Frag FX, you know, if 
If that doesn't work, maybe, you know, PC gaming isn't for me. So I got it. And I, I immediately knew that, okay, this uh, device would, would help me out. It, I felt a little bit more comfortable um, um, gaming with it. You know, I was able to move more freely. That was one of the biggest things I, I had is just moving. You know, the mouse is fine, great, you know, but it's just me moving, jumping. You know, I'm always pressing the wrong buttons on it when I was using the keyboard or, I, or looking down and, you know, while that's wasting time where I'm getting shot looking at which button to press. Uh, so, yeah, I got the Frag uh, FX, so that helped me out a lot. Also, another, I want to tell you about the mouse I have is uh, the Razer Naga Laser Gaming Mouse. You know, it, it's a cool mouse. It's, it's black, it lights up blue, and it has 12 buttons on the side. I don't use all 12 of them. But that helps me, um, you know, you can program them all to do things, you know. Like, uh, with the mouse, I have, like, the, the wheel. Uh, when you click down on the wheel, I use that to knife. Uh, you know, scrolling up, you know, that's to pull out the second, um, the primary down, secondary. You know, there's different things you can um, uh, do with the mouse, you know. That's one thing I like key, uh, PC, you know, you can, you're able to... Uh, program um, buttons the way how you want. You know, whatever you want to do, you can do that. That's one thing uh, I like about PC. So, uh, though that, that's basically me. I'm just telling you guys what I use, you know. So, and I think that's um, console friendly. It, it really helped me a lot. I still uh, aren't where I want to be in PC. Like, I still sometimes press the wrong button or still, it doesn't feel 100% comfortable. But I can see those two devices that I use have made it a little easier for me to adjust to playing on PC. So, you know, now that's one thing uh, uh, I enjoy uh, so far uh, when I play on PC. Uh, okay, so I'd like to tell you guys, um, yeah, like I was telling you, like, you know, when you start, you will struggle, you know, even if you're a little uncomfortable with keyboard and mouse, let's, uh, let's talk about just mainly the game Battlefield, because um, that's one of the main reasons why I got it, and it's just that even if you play Battlefield, like, I play it on PS3, and I played it qu quite a bit, uh, but in Battlefield and you know, the PC, they give you the option where you'll have like Conquest Large. I don't normally play Conquest, but um, you have Conquest Large, which is a pretty uh, big map. And so you have to uh, get used, it's almost like a new, a new map, you know, because there'll be more flags sometimes. There'll be five flags where in the console version, there's only three. So it almost seems almost like a new map, but but that's when one of the reasons I got uh, into um, got Battlefield PC, you know, just that uh, better graphics uh, um, when you're on the PC, uh, frames per second is better, you know, and basically overall PC it, it's just more freedom. Like I said, you can change the buttons. Uh, if you want a knife with this button, you can do that. You see, it lets you customize uh, almost everything. That's one thing uh, I like. It seems like they give you more control of the game. And another thing with, uh, 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 I don't know if this is on console. I never ran into it. Uh, with PC, you can have servers that if you just like uh, Operation Metro or Grand Bazaar, you can have a server that that's all it is. That's all the maps they, they play. Just Metro, Operation Metro, Operation Metro. Or you can have one just Grand Bazaar or, or or mixture, you know, and that's one thing PC gives you more of that control. Like, okay, play it the way you want. You know? So that's one thing I enjoy about PC. So and also I gotta tell you, um, the okay now let's talk about like gameplay. Playing with um, PC players, they're really no different from the consoles. You know, you always find them use the same. They kind of cheap tactics, 
as um, that you know the camp or they'll uh, wedge themselves in the corner where half their body is gone and, you know and, and you still uh, you won't be really able to see them so it's not I know there a lot of PC gamers like to promote like they're like a superior gamers or or I, I don't know, like, they, they understand gaming better or, or, I don't know, some higher authority on it. But from what I've seen, they do the same thing as console gamers. Any uh, cheesy thing to win the game, they'll do or look for it. That's why when you even play Operation Metro there, you'll see a lot of people going to their go-to weapons, the Hamas or the, uh, the shotgun, the, the US-12, whatever. So you still see that on PC. So the same thing you get on consoles, basically the same. Well, the same type of players you, you that annoy you, and uh, on the consoles you'll run into the same type on the PC. You know? There's people who just fear for and stuff like that. But for the most part, PC gives you more control. That's one thing I enjoy about it, that you can save your servers that, that you want, or, or there's more variety in their servers. You can do that too in the favor, but it's just more variety. So it, I got to tell you guys, I'm very, very, very happy that I went to PC. Um, I, I'm loving it. I'm still learning. I like the struggle to learn new things, so I enjoy that. So that's why, guys, I just wanted to tell you guys. If you guys are thinking about making the switch to PC, I have to say, if you guys are willing to be patient enough and, and learn, uh, I think you guys will enjoy it you know, greatly, how, just like how I have. So, just need the time. PC is a great thing. I enjoy it. And hopefully I can bring you some um, cool gameplay where I do my thing and get a little bit, I'm getting a little bit better every time I play, so I enjoy that, guys, so that's right, PC, uh, maybe it might take uh, the consoles away from me, I don't know, I'm enjoying it so far, and it's great, so anyway, guys, that's like my update, uh, so yeah, yeah, PC, yeah, I don't know what can I say, uh, so I just end it. All right, guys, thanks for listening. And remember, there can only be one cast one. Thomas, out!